Hello and welcome to the Epic Narrator. Today we're going to be looking through Mindscape's Final Liberation, a game from my childhood and a game that I haven't played for 20 years. Very excited to be playing this today, so let's see what we've got in store for us. First off, we're going to go through the introduction. The most epic introduction of any 40k game, I might add. Here you go, majestic, majestic shot, majestic shot of an Imperial Battle Barge, well, I think it's a Battle Barge. Pretty old fashioned orc, Huey. As the amazing music commences. So this must be above the planet Volistad. Yeah, I mean, if this was today, they would just CG those orcs there, wouldn't they? But these are like real looking, cosplay looking orcs. The old fashioned style 90s orcs as well. I am pleased to note. Now I wonder if these are actors or if they're just GW staff members. My suspicion is that these guys are just just cosplaying GW staff members, right? So here we go. Final Liberation based on Epic 40,000. So this is based off the first edition of Epic. I'm going to be playing as the Imperials today. Let's just crack straight on. I'm going to go straight in and play on hard mode on the campaign. So first uh, we'll play maximum difficulty and we're going to have the play mode as army. Or we'll play mode as detachment. One of them was definitely from Inquisitor. The other shots, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go to the deployment phase. Right, the amazing voices. So, uh, I, my memory says me correctly, I need to blast up to here, get this objective point, and this objective point. So, we'll set up our troops. I'm going to put these guys into... The Thunderhawk. Now, fingers crossed, they don't get blown out of the sky because these Thunderhawks don't have the best armor, but they do fly extremely fast. So, what have we got here? So, we've got three whirlwinds. Um, I will place these on the higher ground. Uh, because with the whirlwinds, you can indirect fire. random predator just sitting at the back and we will take the predators on the road because the predators are going to be able to move faster on the road than on the greenery now let's have a quick look 
Um, I'm aiming to land my Thunderhawk about here. Um, with any luck, these buildings are probably going to be filled with Orcs, but maybe if I'm lucky and I get a good hit, I can destroy those with my Whirlwinds. So let's crack on. Hopefully the epic music is going to commence. Let Mal commence, brother. Okay, here we go. And you can hear that amazing music. Right, so if anyone don't know what you're looking at here, here we've got our movement um, and our weapons. If it's yellow, that means we can fire. Um, and we've got, how's, how do you say this? Um, so you can half move and fire once, or you can take a full movement and not fire at all. So first, let's unleash hell with the whirlwinds, zoom out a little bit, let's see what we're up against. Okay, so Fog of War is active, so we have no idea what Orcs are lurking in the depths here. So first, I'm going to target this building here. Fingers crossed, we'll collapse it. No. But if we click this button, we should be able to see what's in these buildings. So we'll go try and unleash hell on these guys. Ah, failure. Final shot, come on brothers. Ah, just one. Right, so now uh, I'm going to move up these predators. You see this? This is a objective marker. So what would be called points in a modern game, we've got here are morale points. So mine are just 520 and the Orcs are on a massive 1120. So remember, we started this game and it is on hard. So that means I am seriously outnumbered. If I can get through this, if I can actually complete the mission, I'll be pretty chuffed with myself. So now the nail biting starts. So I'm going to send my Thunderhawk up here and I'm going to try and unleash them now, do I just want to charge them into this field? I mean, yeah, okay, let's go. So now we might start taking Overwatch fire. No, okay, and excellent, excellent. So I can unleash, also unleash from the Thunderhawk itself. Let's. Let's deposit the Marines first. Okay, get out, Battle Brothers. Okay, is there one more in there? Right, so the plan is, is I'm going to deposit, deposit these Marines. We'll fire, we'll fire the Thunderhawk last. Nice. Okay, the Orcs Overwatch fired there. First casualty. You will be remembered, brother. Well, second casualty. Okay, we're in. I think we're going to be in some serious trouble here now. Let's. <laughs> okay, we've got the bolters. Uh, I'm just going to throw caution to the wind here and charge the front hawk in. Actually, no, I'm not. Flee! <laughs> Run away, brother. So you heard that, that pop there, that was the Orcs bolters bouncing off the shell. And I believe that will be my turn over. So fingers crossed, pray to the Emperor Brothers. I think we're going to see the death of many of our Battle Brothers today. Okay, so the Orcs have found their rally, which is good. We need, we need, we need more and more of those guys to run. 
these things here are something that we need to worry about. So these are the war bikes. Uh, I believe the war bikes have an auto cannon on, which in this game is more than capable of knocking this Thunder Hawk out of the sky or taking out our predators. Now our chaps on the ground with their bolters have little chance of taking out Oh no, this is terrible. I've got a feeling they shall know no fear. Our battle brothers may begin to flee. Yeah, so they shall know no fear. Run away, brothers. Your cowardice will be remembered. Oh god, that's not that's really not what we needed. Okay, so it's gonna be up to the Thunderhawk. Really, we need to go. I should have got these bolters into range, really. So, we might be able to hit and run here. Nice. Okay, so. Now, I'm going to move the Thunderhawk back out of range. Back to the whirlwinds. Nice. Okay, we keep wailing on these guys. Now, of any luck, we may cause the cowardly orcs to flee. This is this is my this is the plan. Oh, there's still orcs in here. for these guys. No, nothing. Now, our Valiant Space Marines fleeing is really not what we needed at this point. Um, okay, so we need to watch out for these... these war buggies here, because they will make short work of our Predators, unfortunately. Um, let's move them up take cover behind the trees move this guy up on the road maybe he can take a pop at some of these orcs if he's in range doesn't seem to be or perhaps the last cannons yes just one this is a waste of a last cannon but there we go <laughs> about this guy, can he see any of these guys, any of these orcs? Well, so let's come in again. Eat that, brother! And that will be my turnover. So we've got two auto cannons on Overwatch. Now, unfortunately, they're probably going to Overwatch at standard issue orcs as opposed to the war buggies, which is what we want. But again, let's pray to the Emperor, and it's not looking good for us here, brothers. This could be a dark day for the chapter. But that's a good sign, the orcs are beginning to rout. Do we need more of that? Yes, keep running, keep running. And let's see what happens next. But as you can see, Oh dear.
I think this could be a disastrous day for the chapter brothers. <laughs> looking, at, looking, at, looking at the amount of units on the map, we might have bitten off a little bit more than we can shoot here. Don't think the Apocryphries will be ret retrieving any gene seed from this battlefield, just by the looks of it. And our valiant space marines continue to flee. So we try some more hit and run with the Thunderhawk. It's these bolters we really need to get into action. Nice. Uh, let's go for these guys and maybe these. Uh, move it, maybe move it in a little bit more. I'd really want to take these guys out on the objective. Oh God. It's all over, brothers. <laughs> That's it. Uh, like I said, to say the war buggies. Um, I mean, like I said, I believe it's a, I believe it's an auto cannon, and the fog of war. I did not see that. I did not see that war buggy there. So um, we are in serious, serious trouble, brothers. Perhaps I should have fired the whirlwinds first. Uh, they those. <laughs> Oh, look at look at the battlefield strewn with with dead ultramarines. Uh, vengeance. Just two measly orcs for the price of one thunderhawk. Ah, oh, nice. So, one more. Let's see if we can take out this last remaining orc on the marker. It may be... Oh no, he survives. Maybe we could get our predators up here, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, visible, seven. That's seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine visible war buggies. Um, in all honesty, I cannot see how my predators are going to survive that onslaught. Perhaps we can pick a few of them off. Okay, there goes one, so maybe I can move him back behind the tree line so I'm less worried I'm less worried about the orcs uh, the orcs on foot although some of them may have their evil sons by the way so some of them may have heavy weapons but they've got a small chance of defeating the predator's armor the problem is, is that they're getting closer and closer and we don't have any way to thin out their ranks. And, as we all know, Orcs in hand-to-hand -hand combat is not ideal for us. And I'm trying to edge my Predator closer and closer, but he still cannot see these war bikes. Well, these war buggies, sorry. Okay, so he's got... Uh, I think it's time to move back. Let me move this one here. And leave him for Overwatch, potentially. Um, yeah, if anyone's got any ideas of what to do here, then uh, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, this is good. So if we're lucky, maybe we can steam up that road and just take the objective. But, 
all of these all of these war buggies. Come on guys, just rally. Just space space marines for God's sake. Oh dear. Uh the Emperor's finest have been left on the battlefield, right? So that's what I was worried about. So he's just wasted two las cannon shots on basic boys instead of worrying about these orc war buggies. Okay, we really need to thin out some of these. God, why can't I, just, why can't I see them? this blocking blocking our line of sight fire come on unbelievable let's move him here maybe ah oh, come on finally empress finest <laughs> Missing every shot here. Right, so we've got one more... One more Predator. But you just cannot see any of these wall buggies. Still, why? Now he can't shoot. Well done, son. Right, you can start moving up there. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. It doesn't look like we're going to get through this. Um, oh, there's a nice bunched up load of orcs here. The only thing I can try and do is maybe try and start making them run. Come on. Oh, God. Come on. So current morale is 345 to 905. I think the turning point of this battle was when that Thunderhawk went down like a sack of absolute shit. I dread to hit this button. Oh god. Oh. What I feared. And now our predators flee the battlefield. It's all over. Okay, so we've got... Why can't he see any of these war buggies? So this... This must be obscuring the view but the wall uh, oh you know what just run up there try and let's just try and get to the objective forget it this is there's no other way we're going to be able to do this uh, these whirlwinds have a minuscule chance of doing any damage to these war buggies so let's just start unleashing on these guys So that's what we like to see and that is my t turn over measly measly five units left and the slaughter begins well, it's, been, it's been going on for a while now, actually hasn't it so I'm struggling to see with this amount of orcs what I could have done the only thing that I can think is that perhaps if I play this again maybe we'll do a replay um, I just charge straight in with the Thunderhawks. Unload, unload the Marines right at the objective. Maybe I've been too cautious here, but perhaps if my Thunderhawk wasn't shot down, 
then maybe I could have dug in at the objective point. Here we go. There it goes. Bang. So we've got one last remaining predator which is fleeing the battlefield. Oh, he's back. Don't know what good it's going to do him. And why can't he see these bloody war bikes? All these bloody... I have no words. I have no words. Right. Whatever. Whirlwind strike. Bounces off it. Oh! Did actually destroy it. Normally it bounces off their armor. Okay, maybe I was using the wrong tap then. Perhaps I should, should have been using whirlwinds on these guys. Try again. But. It's all over, brothers. You see here, I've got zero... Zero morale, so I'll click this. And there. Look, I've been vanquished. A dark day for the Ultramarines. So let's just take one last round, see if we can take out some of these war bikes. Nothing. Okay. A sorry day for the Emperor's finest. A miserable defeat. 790 to 0. I don't know what to say, brothers. Um, perhaps we'll revisit this soon with some new battle tactics. So if you want to join me again, remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, link will be above. Remember to like and comment. We want to see some more Let's Play of Final Liberation. Thank you, brothers. Oh. Oh, no. The shame. All is lost. Volistad is falling to the orcs. I must try and salvage what is left of our forces here. When we are ready, we will attempt to retake this planet. That basis will be under the authority of a more... Experienced Lord Commander Militant. Hail to, hail, hail to the Emperor, Commissar Holt. Um, the shame. After 20 years, I haven't played this game. I used to play that on hard, and. I don't know. I don't know what to say, brothers. Um, I just need a few moments.